Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to look at Corrupted Kingdoms. This is a free-to-play magical, monster girl, mind control harem adventure available on PC, Mac, and Android. In this story, the main character dies and is resurrected, discovering that the world is full of magic, monsters, and eldritch powers. So, yeah, a typical anime storyline very similar to High School DxD, which, don't get me wrong, is freaking awesome. There are a bunch of gameplay mechanics as you attempt to unravel this monster girl mystery. This includes building stats like charisma, martial, and insight, as well as dating some elements and levels of magical corruption. The game starts with very few options and locations, but this expands quickly as you progress through the main story. The backgrounds and characters, while Fukatsu based, have a cartoony comic style that reminds me of Persona 5. Oh, and the music is jazzy, just like Persona 5. Anyways, it makes for a really stylized experience that is normally bright and cheerful, except for the parts where you are being stalked by the beast. Spoilers. This is a heterosexual male harem experience with a lot of flavors, including lesbian, monsters, femdom, mind control, BDSM, lactation, costumes, and power exchange. Oh, yeah, and I'm pretty sure that you'll eventually be able to impregnate all of the women in the game. Every new update seems to add another character to Team Preggers. I really like the juxtaposition between creepy and cheerful as you play through the story. You can really see the growth of the game and the developer, Ark, as you play into the later content. That does make it a little jarring, but it is part of the nature of Patreon funding content. The game also, at times, does feel a little grindy. There is not a huge amount of variation in the personalities of your potential waifus, but there are so many types of monster girls and other characters that you will encounter. Corrupted Kingdoms currently has one developer, but they have been able to bring in freelancers to help with delivery of builds and content. The game has been in development for just under two years, and so far it has been a success story with regards to consistent updates and avoiding the burnout we see so much in this industry. This is one of the best free-to-play adult content games currently on the market. If you like harems, magical mind control, and making babies, I think you'll have an awesome time playing Corrupted Kingdoms. Did this game remind you of an anime? If so, which one? And what is the deal with your Super Saiyan grandpa? Anyways, let me know your thoughts, but as always, no shaming, just gaming. Go!